Today, Chef Kev is doing something a little different because that's how he rolls. Uh, making a strawberry uh, bread pudding. And you, and you I've never you heard of that. Had a strawberry I, bread I pudding. didn't know. I, I, just conventional it's, bread pudding is always what I've had. And you know, everybody loves the raisins, but what happened was, Eric, grandmother only made raisin bread pudding. <laughs> and the nuns in school, all year long, raisin bread pudding. So I, I come up I with these I think it's a great idea, ones. though. Now, gang, here's the thing about strawberries, okay? We just had the strawberry festival. Okay. Take your strawberries, cut off the stems, slice them. You can put them in a container, sprinkle a little sugar over them. And, and, that, and, and it makes and that liquid. It's macerate. Yeah. When you hear about macerated berries, it basically, that sugar draws out the juice out of the berries. So if you slice your berries, put them in a little container or a bowl, sprinkle a little sugar over them, you can sit them on the counter for 30 minutes. But if you want, you can put them in the refrigerator and keep it there for a couple of weeks. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. that long? Yeah. And I mean, I mean what, for a week, for, for there, a good week, but they're not no, going to last that long. There's nothing more delicious than those, those strawberries oh. after they've sat in the sugar for a while. Now, look, we can use some of this as part of our liquid to can get we our flavor. It? We can, but the other thing is if you don't have time to do that, okay. this is strawberry margarita mix. So why can't we use the real thing since you got it? Well, we're going to use both. Oh, okay. All right. They used to make strawberry colada. Okay. And I don't know why they stopped making strawberry colada. Wait, so why aren't you putting the strawberries in too? Just out of curiosity. Oh, I'm going to put the strawberries in. I have, look, I have more strawberries. You, you, you want the, extra the, strawberries, the smells I know. delicious. Yeah, there can never be enough strawberries. Now, to give that, that, that kind of colada flavor, okay. we're going to do a little coconut milk. When I do bread pudding, I look for the texture of oatmeal. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start working this in. I have a little regular milk here that we'll get started. Wait, wait, but wait. That, that's point, heavy cream. Well, I kind of had half and half. <laughs> that's really I heavy. I had a little half and half. Yeah. Come on. And now you want the stale bread for a bread pudding. Yeah, I like my bread dry. In paper, yeah. it dries out. We'll get in some eggs. You know, if bread isn't dry, it's just you're sitting cutting through soggy pieces of stale right, bread. Right, right, yeah. I like the bread dry so it can actually absorb the custard. That's why I like the bread really dry. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's butter, eggs, and sugar, okay? We're gonna get some sugar in here. <laughs> some holy mackerel. That's why this is called dessert. <laughs> dessert. Yeah, no, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Although your, the casserole you made here looks delicious. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, and that's not sweet at all. But it, it's... <laughs> well, it's gonna be gone in a minute because I'm taking some with me when I go. <laughs> well, I tell you what, yeah, and what's nice with that casserole, we put a little bit of that soup on top with the cheese and more cheese on top, and there you oh, go. Oh, yeah. All right. If you want any of Chef Kev's recipe, especially this one today, it's going to be a good one. That's a lot of cream, Kevin. Uh, you can go to our website, www.ltv.com, or you can always go to our Roku channel and get it there. But this is a good one. Join us next week when Eric's on a diet. <laughs> no, I'm going to have to be after this.